Hi guys, welcome to Print Ride. I'm your host Ranveer, and today in this video, we're going to tell you about water based ink or you can tell us pigment ink. So, if you had seen some several smaller to bigger boxes in the table, so these all things you required to do your water based printing. So, water based printing is like printing that will give you a very smooth feeling like i will show you i'll just bring the t-shirt so this is a t-shirt so this t-shirt is a water-based print you can level to see this is a water-based print in this print you won't uh, you won't get any feeling of the color you'll feel like fabric only because the ink used to absorb by the fabric fabric will absorb the ink and it will it will mix with the fabric because this ink is a like kind of watery it's a pigment it's a water actually so what happened the water doesn't have any shape and size so it will mix with the fabric and it will become a fillless print in dark garment you will get a 10 to 20 percent fill but in light garment suppose white gray or all these things you will feel zero zero feeling so you came to know let's let's talk about the product let's talk about the product so these are the products we have first of all the base the base of the pigment ink or the printing ink first of all a base we require this type of white base it's like this type of white base we require for printing so in, in plastic or ink or any other sort of ink you get ready-made base suppose you want yellow you'll bring yellow color print you want red you open a red color print but in water base it's not like that you have to do mixing so that's why water base is great for printing because you can you can mix and create millions of colors because there's no shades and shades or particular 8 10 color not like that you can make as much color you want to make from orange and yellow you mix it will become magenta like you can white and black you mix it will become gray so you can make millions of colors with the help of water based ink so first of all we'll separate the water based ink into three segments first segment i'll keep the rest i'll keep the rest in others other side so we uh, like well, like we separate that water based ink printing process into three segments first segment is this two this one is called dark garment paste dark garment paste or you can tell dgp and this one we used to call light garment paste like you can tell us or you can the short form you can tell lgp so in dark garment paste in market people used to tell curry or in this thing people used to tell binder lots of things are people used to like tell in the market or customers used to tell in the market but for making to make it sweet and simple we give it a name it's a dark garment paste for dark garments dark garments means blue navy blue uh, like black charcoal black brown whichever dark garment where you can't uh, like you, you print black you it won't be visible that is called dark garment light garment means like uh, like to garments where if you print uh, black it will be visible enough like gray white lemon yellow sky blue well, there, there are lots of colors are there and there are some individual colors like red or you can tell royal blue so red color you can print as well as white or you, that also it will be visible you can print black that also it will be visible so in red is your wish you want to use dark garment if you want to print brighter image you want to print or you can use dark garment 
and DZP or dark garment paste. And for if you want faded type of look or blackish type of thing, you can use light garment. So this is the two agent. So if you want to print the dark garment, this one is must because it's a white color. And if you want to do in a black, if you want to do in a light garment, this is water paste. This is called LGP. You will see it will be a white color paste. So this this will contain 90% of the printing. Now the next thing we will call it pigments. These are pigments. Pigments is a liquid. You see the printer ink. Same thing. That is a pigment. This is a pigment. And this is like other containers. So we have container from 200 gram to 400 gram, 500, 500, 1 kilo, 5 kilo, 10 kilo, whatever like whatever size and quantity you like. So pigment is liquidy because that's why we require the agent so that this pigment ink can mix with this and make a creamy texture for printing if you pour this in your screen definitely it will be only water you can't can't print it so so that's why you require the tax agent to make the ink so for dark garment paste you have to mix more than 10 percent of the quantity what you're taking so you have to buy waiting scale small you will get it in Amazon or in our website tool. So suppose in the waiting scale you are giving for one kilo of uh, dark garment paste. Then you have to give around 100 gram of pigmenting for dark garment paste. And like 100 gram to 200 gram. X like 10 to 20 percent. How much the depth you want for the color. And for light garment paste you have to give around 5%, 5 to 10% max. Depends on your depth. So, so like so 1 kg, you require 100 to 200 gram. 1 kg, you require 50 to 100 gram. So, you require a weighting scale. So, after that, you have to mix it nicely. We'll make a dedicated video for that. Today is only introduction. We'll make a dedicated video how to print the water base. So, you have to mix it nicely. After mixing, then it's called a third agent this is called fixer the fixer you can tell it is like uh, x as a sticky agent for your garment because that this cream or this ink have to stick in your garment for the print right this fixer will help you to uh, to act as a stick, sticky agent to your garment okay so this one you have to give three percent so the ratio is uh, like what the proportion of your paste dgp or lgp plus your ink your pigment ink 10 to 20 percent for dgp 5 to 10 percent for lgp light garment paste and three percent of the overall weight suppose your weight is one kg you have to give 30 gram and make sure you don't give more this if you give more then it will hamper your printing it will get uh, you will get choking your screen will get choked you will get dry on the spaces and like there is like crackage will be there so so like there are lots of issues come so that's why use a waiting scale and make it proper three percent after that, you mix it nicely, give a good stir, you mix it nicely, nicely, nicely. After that, you will get your ink. This is a pigment ink we have already mixed. Uh, see, this is a gold color. Uh, we have done the, like this one, uh, LGP. And we have done like pigment ink of gold. And of course, fixer. And one more thing, suppose you are using fixer, make sure you do it in 6 to 12 hours because after putting fixer it is compulsory to do the printing within 6 to 12 hours otherwise your screen or your like frame your your, your not a screen of frame your ink your ink will go to be hard 
and you can't do printing so suppose you are doing a huge number of quantities of t-shirt and for that you require 5 kg of ink so 5 kg of ink if you want don't put it fixer at once first of all mix with suppose you are doing a light color you are doing a yellow print in this thing you have this is a 5 kg container there you put a pour that uh, full sort of pigment ink and mix it nicely you will get the vibrant color after that don't mix whole fixer there don't mix like 150 gram like 30 gram per kg to 150 gram in 5 kg don't put it 5 150 because once you put it might not complete your consignment in one day so half of the ink remain that will be a waste that's why you don't throw that so uh, like that you have to throw so it's my opinion go for little bit mix the pigmenting no issue take it out one kg put fixer mix it up nicely print after over again you put one kg so like that you will save your ink and you can do uh, like uh, other sort of thing and we also have like uh, two more things to show you so that that will help in in your pigmenting uh not pigmenting water based printing that will help in you know water based printing. i'll bring it for that for you so i bought that two thing what i told you these two things also help you help will will help you in your printing thing so this one is this one is a uh, softener or you can tell reducer or you or, or like solving agent so this will help you suppose the same thing 5 kg you have put a fixer and you have not done in one day next day it become hard this will help put 5% mix it nicely your ink will be alive again you can print again but this will help you for only one time not multiple times so this is a softener or sometimes we want soft not one thick so you can use it and this one is a good thing many other people doesn't know this is mass clog remover mass clog remover means suppose if you put directly uh, water basing in a dry climate like like we are in Bangalore now you put directly water basing in a dry climate so what will happen you will get choked the screen will get choked with the color it will get dry so you for that you require humidifier to make the environment humidity like more humid environment so that water doesn't get choked water missing so lots of things you have to put you have to put humidifier you have to put lots of vaporizer so that your water wing doesn't get choked so in that case this will help just take nicely in a sponge or something put it in the screen front and back you can spread it up in your screen and wipe it off what will happen this will give you oily texture to your screen <coughs> so that it will give a oily texture to your screen and with the oily texture your screen like will not going to stroke and you can do the printing without any travel of humidifier or something like that so hope you got some great information from my video this video like uh, like you got to know something about your pigment or water based thing so we'll make a detailed tutorial video about the printing and everything for that we'll go for the next video so do you have any questions you are free to ask in the comment box so like our video subscribe our channel help us to grow and get lots of audience and viewers so share our video and don't forget to press the bell icon so as as i always tell so stay tuned see you soon